Farley, starring as my eye candy. I'm doing a Twitter Twitter operation here, um, reporting some tweets from this stalker. He used to run under the name of Econ Burkfest. That account has been suspended due to his sexually invasive um, tweeting about Brandon Farley. I noticed that I tried to intercede and just say, hey, back off. I don't see what your problem is. Work it out. Everyone, let's stay professional. God, that smooth jazz from City Hall. Oh, well. Um, so how are you, Brandon? You want to say hi while I click away? Doing all right. Um, I see it's, it's putting us both under a lot of stress, though, having to deal with this uh, online predator. Really, what do you, what do, you do when you, you don't know where this person lives, but they know where you live? Uh, how do you really send a stalking order or a stalking report on someone who's just kind of nameless or kind of um, anonymous in a way? Because the, the cyber stalking element gives you a layer of protection almost. Uh, in fact, some of the laws are still around that, that don't even qualify the um, online uh, actions as harassment. So it's... it's I, mean, I think he almost knows that, that there's a loophole of... of that, they, that he can get away with doing a lot of this this depraved, mm -hmm. this disgusting daily, constantly uh, targeting both, you know. What's really I was picking up on is um, this stalking situation's been going on for months that I know about a lot a lot longer than I was aware of it, and um, you got assaulted. That seems to be what he wanted. He likes to inflame his little inter internet anarchists to assault you and so he got what he wanted and now that you're injured by this rubber bullet i think he's kind of like in a quandary as to how he both gloats that he got you assaulted his account is suspended because his behavior is harmful he's obviously trying to put a target on your head and mine and so that's a security threat he's been reported to multiple law enforcement agencies he's unwilling like an abuser to take accountability for his actions and he's not even putting one picture of your rubber bullet injury up on his new account that he's repeating his previous stalking incarnation at Econ Breakfast. It's really a selective, biased um, outlook. Uh, no, it doesn't fit the narrative that, I, that I've been attacked. And, and uh, in fact, in showing that, it might even... Uh, Antifa would, would, would show sympathy, you would think, uh, from someone who's uh, suffering from police brutality, like I'm on almost on day seven now, and I'm still unable to walk. I can't even put pressure on my leg. Well, and just going to the grocery store was so frustrating because you're faced with um, an out of battery charge electric wheelchair. We have to hobble through the elevator to get to the other side, and then we're just having it's difficult. You're rent, you know, you bump into things. We're learning to manage the wheelchair. I think if anything, the beautiful side is you're going to have a lot of increased sensitivity towards disability rights and mobility issues, and the incredible challenge people. But but literally, this stalker is essentially disability bashing you, but he's on the fence now as to how much he can gloat and celebrate police gore, and at which point his... Um, his uh, his alliance. Where does his alliance? Where, who are his allies? Is he celebrating? He doesn't really have any because not even uh, not even the the base that he appeals trying to appeal to can condone that amount of cyber stalking. I, I, like he's losing followers. He's getting suspended. He's he's constantly asking for money from the community to uh, pay for his hard drives to pay for his crappy internet. And nobody's, I mean, I'm the only, basically the only one who's ever sent him anything on PayPal, and it was just as a gag, 16 cents, to uh, highlight the, uh, the moment in which Chris Ponte says that he has 16 months to get off probation, basically insinuating that he was going to assault Econ Breakfast for getting up in everyone's faces, uh, in, you know, with the camera. But uh, How about I read um, my little uh, blurb? This is what I... I just want to turn off the background noise. Oh, okay, um, okay. But yeah, you go ahead. Yes. Okay. So I will read, um, here's my little blurb. At still underscore PDX is the new account for Portland's Nick Lee, host of suspended at econ BRK FST account, which he used to sexually harass the genitals of journalist Brandon Farley. After inciting a violent assault June 2nd, 2020, and protecting and filming an assault December 2019, Nick Lee is using the new still underscore PDX account to carry out his disability bashing, sexual harassment, transphobic and homophobic bullying of Farley media and brain garbage. 
Please, Twitter, do not let this serial home stalker who has shown up unannounced to sexually harass and stalk Brandon Farley at his home, who has repeatedly humiliated and traumatized Farley by bullying him about his genitals online, make mockery of alleged revenge porn to continue to bully me for asking Nick Lee to stop bullying, stalking, invading the privacy, trans bullying, and preying on Farley for his long hair or demeanor. Nick Lee is currently trying to ridicule the rubber bullet injury incurred when Nick Lee's associate attacked Farley, kicking and strangling him with a camera strap, which attracted the miscommunication of the Portland police, who then fired a rubber bullet into Farley's leg, disabling him. Uh, God, should I stop there? Nick Lee, by using his Twitter account to bully, stalk, provoke, and intimidate the victim of Portland police brutality, is continuing his unwanted pattern of sexual harassment, privacy invasion, personal harassment, home stalking, and proxy stalking, and assaults. Um, I and Get Brain Carbage sought to intervene, and now Nick Lee is circulating. Basically, I go about his um, moving on to new victims, which is um, disgusting that he's invading the privacy of other people with um, unwanted contact. Well, Farley, how's your peach, your peach and um, oh, Bull? pretty good, actually. I'm first time trying it. Uh, it does taste like peach. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they're really in a pickle because you're standing up to the improper um, use of the rubber bullet. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, is, what is Akon's end game here? What does he want to see us do? I mean, he's constantly tweeting about us like this jealous ex, and I've never had any association. Well, with I feel him like, like that. it's like when you're forced to go on a date with the chaperone, and you're just like, "Can I lose the chaperone?" Or there's this phrase, "the leg humper," and that's the unwanted <laughs> third party that is making it feel really claustrophobic. Like, stop breathing down my neck. Mm -hmm. Like, like I I do my blogging as a public service, but it's not specifically so you can invade my private life or ridicule my private life, which I, I do keep an element of privacy, but can't really because of this abuse. Yeah, and um, I think this uh, Econ Breakfast knows all about search engine optimization and, and the fact that if you keep on associating someone's name on, on, a, on a social media mm -hmm. with, with, with uh, basically, you know, he's trying to say that we're we're criminals or we're stalkers when he's actually uh, this that's the type of behavior that that econ is doing but now people are going to search our names and see oh wow uh brandon farley uh sexual genital harasser or whatever like brandon farley genitals now 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 that's going to be synonymous with my name is econ breakfast genitals um and for, for what reason? Because there was a little uh, Dick Slander controversy like months ago that everybody's already decided was uh, was completely okay at, at some, I mean. Well, and basically he has a prurient attitude about sex. He's upset about sex. He wants to sensationalize it. He's attaching himself to your wagon like maybe you're going to make his search engine optimization go further. And you dealt, I don't know, oh man. I also feel like um, he kind of sees me as this up and comer, and like, oh, if he gets all the exclusives early on, and 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 you know, oh, creates the controversy before it happens, then maybe he he can basically piggyback off of my success. Um, like, you know, who knows? I might I might get big enough to where I'm on Fox News as a as a contributor, or um, you know, and and then. He's going to be pressing the issue of all these fake controversies that, that really he started. I mean, the emails were a response to him and his incessant harassment, and I just took it as a joke at first. I, and, yeah, I like to do creative writing, so I, I used it as an, an outlet uh, for my own grief um, and for the stress that he was putting under me. But I just stopped. Like, I, I stopped mentioning Econ Breakfast online. I stopped emailing this person uh I, I was literally telling them every week to stop. Just stop the harassment. Stop start targeting the people I care about. Um, you, it was pretty low for him to go for me. I was like, wait, I'm just a neutral party. I don't even know. I'm not in your cult or your, your clique or whatever. Well, anyone, I don't know what's going on. Anyone who defends any part of me or even likes a tweet is up 
In fact, it, all they have to do is like my tweet, and, and they'll get screenshotted for this economy breakfast uh, page. Digital abuse, which yeah. is basically... He likes to surveil your digital use like a jealous ex mm -hmm. and hold it up for blackmail, which I have no previous relationship. I have no knowledge of him. I've never met him, never run into him. So I, I see him around the protests. He looks pretty unhealthy, really emaciated, like kind of lost and wandering around. Nobody really pays attention to this person <gasps> unless he's shoving their cameras up in their faces and, and, and starting, you know, provoking uh, peaceful patriots. Um, and even cops. I've seen him pl harass cops before, like, you know, someone who just basically wanted him to move along because he was getting in people's w uh, people's faces. And Well, I think it's a good thing that the Econ Breakfast account is on hold because he's using the still PDX underscore PDX account to right. basically... He has 46 followers now, wow. Well, he just lost four, it looks like. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I don't know. He, I think, yeah, whatever. I think... Whoever these people are. They're all, it looks like Antifa. Yeah. With the so black he, flags in there. He's in their... catering to a target market that likes to hate on Farley because you're a safe guy to hate on. Yeah. And really, I mean, why, you, oh, Alyssa uh, Vincent Holler doesn't get um, blocked by this person even though, like, we're, you know. There, I'm, I'm in support. I was in support of Alyssa's uh, run for city council, um, and and have filmed many events that Alyssa has um, has organized. But because there's this, like, oh, if you block a, a person of a trans person, then you're basically going against your own ideology. But but then, econ is is going after like you know misgendering people and 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 like deliberately just insensitive when it comes to these trans issues. Right, and the invasion of the privacy is just really... <sighs> I mean, I'm not really affected by it. I actually didn't even look at it for five days, but it turns out, yeah, he's he's uh, fighting his suspension. He's trying to use this account to regurgitate the same abuse. The same criticism he tells me uh, that I was doing, which, um, yeah, I was suspended on Farley Films, uh, but that particular behavior that I was... Um, you know, exemplifying was as come to a close. Yeah, I said some hyperbolic statements in the direct messages, and uh, that I shouldn't have, even if the even if they were you know threatening my family, even if you are targeting me and and harassing me um, constantly online. Uh, I said something that was wrong to someone, and as a result, I got suspended. Um, but I ended that treat. I ended that behavior immediately when I got the new account. Um, Cause like, but this uh, economy breakfast is doing the exact same thing. Like, you it's like you you suspend him, and he just reemerges as the same figure, not learning any lessons whatsoever. Like, oh, oh, you can do no wrong, econ breakfast. Like, some I mean, what is it gonna take? Is it gonna take jail time, seriously, for you to get it through your head that what you're doing is technically illegal? I mean. It's technically cyber stalking. It's harassment, and we've told you to stop repeatedly. What don't you? What What doesn't he understand? I don't. Well, it, I mean, I was hoping that the protest culture, the big emergence of the protest, would give him something to do. And in a certain respect, he's gotten some good photography. So. Yeah, of which he can't really upload because um, he doesn't have good Wi-Fi, and uh, which goes to show that even even though he has an audience. They're not, and he is trying to grift to them. They they're not in support of what he's doing, um, and that should tell you a lot. Um, because if they supported him going after me, then why know. doesn't he go after you for hanging out with someone like me who would have hundreds of videos supporting Ferguson, Black Lives Matter, Don't Shoot PDX, Teresa Rafer, Deborah? Well, the uncomfortable truth is that we actually have more of an activist, uh, achieve more activist achievements behind our belt than than this person does. Well, yeah, and I think he is sort of admire. It's a little bit like a crush, like a stalkery crush. Like he admires something, kind of like a, I've had it with teachers. Like I admire them, but I criticize their methods. And at a certain point, it it has been flattering to have him as a stalker, but he's gone too far, and it's gotten really invasive, and it's inhibiting my free speech. I don't feel like Twitter is a platform for my free speech anymore. No. At first, I kind of used him as like a, 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 a marketing tool, 
especially when I lost Farley Films and I had to rebuild, I was like, okay, yeah, people are talking about me. I'm a controversial figure. Sure, let it happen. And then I figured eventually it would die off. Like he would just get burnt out after a few weeks of, of constantly talking about me. Uh, it never happened. He's going, okay, he's going after your tweet where you talk about having black children. So he's going I, after my family now. Right. And so he's bullying no black families. Black families matter. And anyone who's going to bully you for your black child and your other black child, like. And nobody on the left, nobody in his Antifa crew will condemn his actions. And, and, and really, it's despicable. This person doesn't have black friends. Actually, he doesn't have any friends at all, but especially he wouldn't befriend a person of color because really, I think Econ's a racist. I mean, to make a statement like that, first of all, you have to have a racist bone in your body. He's like Republican from California type, you know. Yeah, that's what I picked up on, right. You know, kind of a... a, a He's bullying women. He's majorly misogynistic. He doesn't want women to have a platform. He wants them to force them into a trans transgender to fit in with his trans world. And then he wants to tell you you're not transing properly. So it's just this sort of like, it's truly uh, walking on eggshells around an abuser. Who? And, if, and if this person was really about uplifting the the gay and trans community, well, t- this is this is Gay Pride Month, trans pride like yeah. Not ha- he has not made one single mention of that of this month and and basically is still you know talking about me. He doesn't respond to his his direct messages because he's constantly tweeting about us. Right, or he he can't email. And I think um, I was tweeting a lot about Asperger's awareness and. Like, he can say, oh, yeah, well, I have Asperger's, so that's why I am obsessed only with Brandon Farley. I have Brandon Farley fan accounts that obsess on Brandon Farley. Even if Brandon is having zero contact whatsoever with him, like a delusional stalker, he is making it into a relationship that doesn't exist. This is pure delusion in his mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Where are we? We're at 17 minutes, so I'm just going to report this tweet. Say it's abusive or harmful, directs hate against a protected category. Um, and, and I've seen you've you've reported like just me sitting here, like at least, you know, twenty or thirty in, in the last few minutes, and, and they are all harmful and abusive tweets. Like you're not indiscriminately, you know, checking off random Well and he has tweets. he has an he has multiple accounts dedicated to harassing you. Mm-hmm. And the net conglomerate has to be viewed in the totality. Like I kind of like some of his images of the He's protest. He's a great photographer. I love it. Why, and why waste your time and energy? I, why not on just like unblock me? me and stop stalking me so I can follow your photography? It makes it hard for me to consider him a reporter because he's number one a stalker, but then also kind of a good photographer. And it's like stop undercutting your own talent. Econ Breakfast still underscore PDX. I think it is is he used to get donations uh, when he talked about me and and uh, mm. aired out these these fake controversies, and maybe he just wants to go back to a time where where he was experiencing that because uh, you know you know <laughs> die down. Like, I think he's also trying extortion. He's trying to get like a hundred dollar donation out of me to get him to shut up, like stop talking about me. And extortion is a crime. I don't know how much it costs to get him to stop invading my personal life. Life. Well, it shouldn't come down to that because you know, I believe that uh, this person needs to stop at all costs. Right. He's lost his main 2000, oh, nearly 2,000 follower account. What's next, Econ? I mean, there he is like tweeting a different I would I would settle this for a dollar if, if I knew that you know some justice would be done. Uh, the, I want the city to change. Well, their and, and Farley's essentially protecting all journalists and all political activists of, or observers. Innocent people go out to these events. Okay, well, how about we just wrap it up here? We're almost at twenty. Thank you, Farley. Thank you.